Here is an educational video on how to train your sloth. Before we begin, I must ask that you please be responsible with this wondrous knowledge I will soon bestow upon you. Thank you. But who am I, you ask? I'm a highly qualified sloth trainer with years of experience in the sloth industry. My primary area of expertise being the selling and exporting of sloths into slavery. And yes, for those of you wondering, my Australian accent is fake. But anyway, enough about me. Let's get to the sloths. Part 1. Preparation Now that you've seen this incredibly well-made stock photo slideshow of sloths, we're ready to begin. To begin training your sloth, you will need a few essential items. First, one half-eaten box of sloth treats. You don't want to get their hopes up. Second, a 20 to 30 inch stick, bat, belt, or anything that seems remotely painful if struck with. And third, a spray bottle of your choosing. My personal preference is a Windex bottle. I recently heard that some people actually empty them and replace it with water. But where's the fun in that? Here's a fun alternative to try if you're feeling particularly spontaneous. Just replace the Windex with a highly concentrated mixture of recycled sloth urine. Be careful though, I know from experience that dehydrated sloth piss is extremely acidic and can burn on contact with skin. And for an added bonus, add a couple teaspoons of bleach to make an extremely toxic and potentially deadly gas. And for that reason, I would suggest not using this too often. You know the old saying, you can't train a dead sloth. It's actually remarkably accurate. Believe me, I've tried. Now that you have the tools you'll need, I'll describe the training process. Despite my obvious knowledge of sloth training, I've only managed to ever teach my sloths one trick. Playing dead. This could most likely be attributed to the noticeable lack in brain cells caused by some of my more brutal teaching methods. One trick may not sound like much, but you must consider the fact that he's very, very good at it. Some might even say, convincing. And the wonderful thing about this trick is it's actually pretty simple to teach. All you have to do is cut off their food and water supply, and after a few weeks, they start to figure it out on their own. Crikey, this one actually is dead. Or is it? You can hardly tell. They never move. To get you started, I'll show a sample video of me training a sloth. Come on, Slothenstein. Pose for me. Come on. Don't make me get Mr. Beating Stick. Very good, Slothenstein. As you can see, a healthy relationship with a sloth is based on a foundation of respect. I simply give them a set of guidelines to follow, and reward or punish them according to their actions. Although, to be honest, I mainly focus on punishment. Because after all, sloth treats are expensive. But a good beating is free. Despite the stereotype for immense laziness, sloths can be invaluable workers. Personally, I don't know how I could get by without my sloth secretary and gardener sloth. It's like having your own personal maid service, but instead, they're creepy sloths. Granted, sloths work at a rate about ten times slower than a human, but who can argue with free slave labor? And by free, I mean after the initial buying cost, which ranges from about four to five thousand dollars. And I found this website particularly helpful in amassing my sloth workforce. Although, 
I must admit, I was skeptical about trusting a website with such horrible inaccuracies. Like Sloss living to be 30 years old? That must be a joke. I don't even think most of my Sloss survived the first three years of basic training. Speaking of jokes, want to hear a joke? Have you ever heard the sound a sloth makes when it's happy? Neither have I. Want to hear another joke? Peter. <laughs>